Hello again, guys. Today we're building a miniature pizza oven. Yippee! Mini oven. Let's experiment with small sizes. Right. Today everything will be mini sized. First, we should make mortar for the bricks. Can't we just put them on one another? <laughs> of course not. It's not enough because if I do this, it'll fall. Not a very reliable oven, do you agree? Yeah, you're right. So mix the mortar really well. I'm going to check how it came out. We just take a little bit of mortar. It's better to use gloves not to get dirty. And now we connect the two bricks. Oh, look! It's leaking! We need to wipe it quick! Don't worry, Sammy. One move, whoosh! And it's clean. Done. Let's do the same with the other bricks. We need to put four bricks in length and four brick rows in height. Here's the last one. Now we'll see what the first row looks like. Two! This one seems broken. Can we use it? That's just what we need, Sammy. In the second and fourth rows, there will be half bricks on the edges. To make walls more secure, we don't put one brick directly on another, but one on two of them. See? Oh, now I see. I didn't know that, did you guys? Sue, so, you need some help. I understand how to lay bricks. Sure, together it's more fun <laughs> and faster. Look how fast we made it. That's what I call teamwork. We built two walls for our oven already. Guys, it's way more fun to make crafts with friends. Call them over and build together. So, it seems I got a little dirty. Can we have a napkin? Guys, now we're going to make a section for wooden chips. First, we attach one wall. Then the second on another side. Press a little, done. Why do we need styrofoam? It can easily break. We're making a base. Later, we'll pour some cement inside to make it solid. Oh, what to do? I can't figure it out. Oh. What's wrong, Sammy? You look troubled. I've been thinking for five minutes already. What pizza filling should we make? So that's your issue. Hmm. I vote for pepperoni. I love its smell. Mm. Pepperoni! Good. Phew! Now I have nothing to worry about. And lots of tomato sauce. By the way, guys. Tell us about the tastiest pizza you've ever tried. I'm curious to know. I made the dough. What are you doing, Sue? Good job, Sammy. I'm making a frame for our base. Can you prepare the cement if you're not busy? Main thing is not to confuse the cement and grout mixture. Will do. The frame is almost ready. I just need to secure the intersections with little pieces of wire. This way, they go into the styrofoam so easily. Look out! Oh, Sue, we need to fill it fast or the cement will set. Oh, not that fast, Sammy. It takes several hours for cement to set. Oh, my feta. So long. <laughs> Look, we need to pour all of the mixture into the basement. Don't leave a drop. I'm watching you. There's a little more! Thanks, my strict supervisor. Now let's spread the mixture with a trowel. This way. I feel like a real builder. Oh no, we ruined everything, right? Look, it's overflowing. <laughs> it's okay, Sammy. We need these walls to shape our cement. When the cement sets, we'll get rid of them. It's time to smoothen out the surface. Can you do it? All right. Okay, so we put the level at one edge and whoosh, whoosh, move it towards the other. Good job, partner. Right, guys? Finishing touches. How did it go, Sam? Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. Great. Let's leave the cement to set. We'll be back soon. Stay in touch. Guys, when the cement sets, you can take the styrofoam off. It's easy. That's it. But now the base looks, well, not very pretty. That's why I prepared this. Sue, I also made the mortar. Perfect, Sammy. Let's spread some mortar for the first row. Cool that we didn't give this set away for a garage sale. Sammy, tell me the truth. Did you decide to make an oven spontaneously? It wasn't a long-term plan, was it? Well, maybe, but aren't we having fun? <laughs> yeah, hard to disagree. Guys, are you having fun with us? Give this video a thumbs up if you are. There's too much mortar, and the brickboards are set unevenly. Hmm, you're right. This won't do. We need to figure out how to fix it. 
to. I've got an idea. Try to fix them with a hammer. Perfect. This will make them look neat. Here, we're going to make the same walls as below. There will be three rows instead of four. Yay! I like laying bricks. The next row is mine. Guys, here we need the same frame as we did for the lower level. Let's move on to the next step. Follow me! Looks great! But these bits of wire shouldn't stick out this way. We'll cut them with pliers. Here we go! Be careful with this step, guys. Now we're gonna build walls again! Hail the great Tibidaba! We didn't secure these bricks on purpose. I'll show you why. We'll make a frame here instead. At the moment, it all looks a little dirty. <laughs> Don't forget to get rid of the excess mortar with a trowel. This way. Sammy, where are you? I have a task for you. I just finished putting pepperoni on the pizza. What must I do? I'm ready! We need to cover it all with tiny bricks. Beautifully as you do it. Oh, I can do that. <clears throat> all right, here's a workshop from Sam the Builder. Put one brick horizontally, then another one right next to it vertically. Continue until you fill the whole space. At the end, you should praise yourself. You're amazing. <laughs> Very informative, Sammy. I think I'll sign up for your next workshop. We're going to attach bricks following the cylinder shape. This way, we'll make an oval roof. So, let's compete in speed. Who will reach the top first? Deal. Let's see who's a better master. Who do you support, guys? Write the name of the winner in the comments. Let's go! And the winner is Sammy! Yeah! And on this happy note, we're moving on to the final stage. Guys, we're going to finish soon. The main stage is ahead of us. Pizza baking! Look how yummy it is. Makes your mouth water. The last brick. Done. Sammy, can you guess what we're missing? Uh, I think I can. We need a chimney. Bingo. Let's build it. Uh, tisk tisk. Not good. I better finish this first. Okay, catch up. By the way, do you remember who enters your home through the chimney? Santa Claus. He'll be bringing us presents. I'm curious if he could fit into this tiny chimney. <laughs> Of course! He's become small. He's a magician. You know I'm a magician too, right? That's my superpower. How's it going, Sammy? Ugh, I just do everything very fast. What do you say, Sue? I like it. The oven is so small and cute. We only need to apply the grout. And pizza's waiting for us. Pizza! Yeah! Be careful! It's leaking already! Wipe off the excess. Thank you, right on time. This way we'll cover all the junctures. I can speed up time too, by the way. I saw how Sue did it on the computer. Let's check the final result. And now we'll show you how to bake the tastiest pizza from Sam the Chef. Oh, crunchy crust and sweet pepperoni. What else can you dream of? Beautiful. I call the first piece. Sammy, I never thought I'd say this, but I can eat half of a pizza at once. Guys, I hope you liked our craft today. Sue and I loved it. Da 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 da. Do 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 do. Huh? Mmm, so delicious. Ugh, Oreo goes perfectly with milk. Mmm. Especially when you dip your cookie in the milk. Here comes another one. If Oreo goes good with milk, then it's the same 
same with pizza and Coke. Yum! Uh, Sammy, that's a bad idea. But I know one way to combine pizza and Coke. Me too! I'll drink all the Coke and then eat the whole pizza! They will combine in my stomach. Um, my way is more interesting. And more aesthetically pleasing. No matter what Sue's idea is, I'm still gonna eat this pizza and drink all the Coke. Sue, why did you turn the blower on? It's not a blower, it's a special hand fan. But your instincts were right. These are sheets made of cans that we didn't use in our previous craft. Guys, give a thumbs up if you liked our fan made of Coke cans. Oh, great job, Sammy. Using these blueprints, we'll turn the former Coke cans into the parts of our craft. I love cooking crafts. And you, Sammy? Guys, give a thumbs up if you still don't understand what we're crafting here. Uh, Sue, I'm not implying anything, but I really want to know what your unusual craft idea is. Sammy, just think of a way we can combine pizza and Coke. I already suggested an option, but you said it's not aesthetically pleasing. <laughs> I gave you so many hints already. Can't you guess? What kind of hints? Just tell me what are we crafting? Isn't it more fun to guess yourself? Come on, Sammy. Train your brain. It's already trained, but okay, I'll try. Um, maybe you want to make a special pizza box? Oh, Sammy, that's too simple. Wrong. What do you mean, simple? I just didn't have enough time. Uh, maybe it's uh, a pizza made of Coke cans. Mmm, sounds better, but still wrong. Oh, enough mysteries, tell me. Every woman should have a little bit of mystery. Well, not every slime likes mysteries. <laughs> okay, I'll give you a small hint. Think logically. Where does pizza come from? From the box. Okay, where does the box come from? From the pizzeria. <sighs> Sammy, I mean, how is it made? <laughs> okay, okay, I knew it from the start. I just wanted to be mysterious like you. <laughs> oh, well, you have to train a lot to reach my level of being mysterious. So wait, are we making an oven? Bingo! This oven will be a great addition to the brick stove we made not so long ago. Sammy, I don't even know why you need so many ovens. More ovens means more pizzas! <laughs> well, the base for our oven is ready. I think it looks very aesthetically pleasing. Uh, so I mastered your skill and understood how to be mysterious. Sam, being mysterious needs lots of practice. I don't think you could master it that fast. And especially reach my level of the skill. <laughs> I bet you'll be surprised. Huh. Think you can scare me? What are we betting on? <gasps> the loser will bake 100 small pizzas in the oven we're crafting. Ready? I'm something that smells cheesy. Only when you don't take a shower. <laughs> so that's all funny. You're ruining my mysteriousness. Oh, sorry. I'm something that smells cheesy. But I'm not a pair of socks. I am a meal that is sliced and delivered in a box. So there's no rush. It's a tough one. So I'll give you time to think. Oh, well, thank you, kind Sam. I'll definitely use this time to explain to our viewers what we're doing now. Guys, we're applying the glue to the edge of this piece. And then fixing the edge with a clip so it's glued well. Then we'll repeat it with every edge of the piece. So, I'm sure you don't know the right answer. Um, pizza. What? That was a super tough riddle. How did you guess it? Oh, Sammy, I told you. To reach my level of mysteriousness, you need to train a lot. And it's gonna take you a long time to bake 100 pizzas. <laughs> but Sue, I was sure I'd win. 100 pizzas is too complicated and too long. Okay, Sammy. I have a better idea. I know how you can pay it off. I feel somewhat uneasy. Sammy, are you ready to pay your debt? 
Uh, so, uh, your mysteriousness is becoming more frightening. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll give you a simple task. Actually, I liked your riddle. Guys, be careful working with the lighter. Ask an adult to do it for you. In fact, if I prepare all the ingredients beforehand, it won't be that challenging to bake 100 peaches. Huh. If you insist. No, 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 Sue, it'll be my pleasure to complete your task. Sounds good. Listen carefully. You'll have to come up with a recipe of a super delicious pizza that we can bake in our oven. Come on, Tammy. I believe in you. Slime Chef Sam is ready to start the mission. While Sam's generating ideas, we'll continue making the oven. Guys, don't forget that you have to be careful with the lighter. Eureka! So, what did you come up with? Coca-Cola pizza! So, you decided to combine Coke and pizza in your belly anyway. Hear me out. This is my very special pizza recipe. Well, I already guessed that. The dough. Made of top quality flour with addition of fresh Coke. This will give unforgettable gastronomic pleasure. Sammy, you talk a good game, but I'm not sure my stomach will be so happy with this combo. But there will be cheese too. Oh, well that makes a difference. <laughs> <laughs> Sue, you don't understand. Cooking is art, and art demands risk. Uh, okay, but I don't want to risk my health, you know. Nonsense. Geniuses are often unappreciated by their contemporaries. <sighs> Sammy, I appreciate you and love you, but sometimes <laughs> I think you're just too genius. Ah, <sighs> unfortunately, it's true. Guys, check out our cool oven! Give a thumbs up if you like it, too! And subscribe to our channel not to miss another genius idea from our Sam! I'm sure we'll make a super delicious pizza in this oven! Coca-Cola pizza! Sam, do you think it's possible to cut a can with a piece of paper? Well, if we consider the can's density and the friction… It's possible! That's what I wanted to say. Well, Sammy, since you're such a physicist, tell me, which part of the oven we're making now? Um, actually, I'm a slime chef, plus your question's too easy. It's obvious that we're making the lid for our oven. We'll need it to accumulate the heat in a small area, which is necessary to make the pizza really delicious. Whoa, you impressed me with your knowledge. <laughs> You're right. Pizza made in our oven should be very tasty. Uh-huh, yep, yep, especially the Coca-Cola one. <laughs> its special recipe will impress everyone. But I still prefer traditional pizza. Ha, <laughs> traditional. Oh, what kind of sarcastic comment is that? If only you knew what you were talking about. I know! I'm talking about a delicious pizza with sausage and tomato sauce and lots of cheese! Ah, oh, my naive friend! I don't want to disappoint you, but pizza wasn't always so tasty! A long time ago, pizza was a food for the poor! So what? Well, so they put the most inexpensive and easy to get ingredients in bread. Mostly it was garlic. Ooh! Didn't they put cheese on top? Cheese? Oh, they didn't even wash it down with Coke! Oh, pizza without cheese and Coke? That doesn't sound delicious. Unlike my Coca Cola pizza. <sighs> Sue, we need a door here. Sam, you're reading my mind. I can do more than that. Oh, I know that. For example, you can invent new, inedible recipes. <laughs> so, you didn't even try my pizza! How can you make conclusions? <sighs> Sorry, Sammy, you're right. I don't have to jump that fast to conclusions. Exactly. What if my pizza becomes the most delicious and the most famous in the whole world? That would be cool. Just imagine, you'll open your own slime pizzeria, where you'll make pizza according to your special recipe. And it will be baked in the oven we made! Hmm. 
Things you can watch forever. Fire. And Sam making his pizza. Shoo, we're gonna make it together. <sighs> With pleasure. Let's put your mini pizza in our oven. There we go. Guys, give a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel if you liked our idea of combining Coke and pizza. But more importantly, if you like the cool oven we made. It's time to try the delicious pizza we made! Yummy! Shiver me cheddars, what a scent! This pizza's amazing! Guys, the pizza can't wait anymore! I need to eat it fast! See you next time, bye bye